Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gonzo Airsoft. Special episode today. Today I'm going to talk about what equipment you should buy if you're wanting to start playing airsoft for the first time. This full video will tell you exactly what gun is best to start with, what gear is best, and everything you need to start to start playing like a pro. So you've probably been watching uh, videos by Scout the Doggy, uh, seen Epic HD's reviews, perhaps the equipment on e-bike and Crazy NC Man, Red Wolf maybe, Airsoft GI, and you want to know how to start. And you're desperate to lay down some cash and get some uber cool gear. Well this video will tell you everything that you need to know. So like I've said, this video is aimed at someone who's never played Airsoft before. I would be interested in hearing uh, your opinions on advice if you are an experienced player. Right, so back to it. Which gun should you get? Which is the best gun to start with? None of them. Don't. Don't buy a gun. I'll repeat that. Don't go out and spend your money on airsoft rifles, pistols, shotguns or sniper rifles. If you want to start playing airsoft, the first thing you should do is find your closest organized airsoft site and go play there first. Almost every site is set up to allow you to hire gear to do that. There's a number of very good reasons. One, safety. Airsoft weapons are potentially bloody dangerous. A good site will show you how to use them, how to use the equipment well. The equipment they provide will be tested and safe. They haven't been battered around by a neighbor who's been trying to put a spring in them to make them shoot over 600 FPS. Two, cost. Before you go out spending hundreds of pounds or dollars, it, wouldn't it make sense to try it first? In the UK, a typical rental is in the region of 35 to 45 pounds. Try it. If you don't like it, that's all you've done. If you do like it, then you've, you've always got a, a heads up on the sort of stuff you like. One of the strongest things I found about the Airsoft is the community element. Players are friendly and normally more than happy to show off their fancy new kit and use their experience to guide you and that will give you a heads up on to, um, to what gear you will like and end up playing with, making sure you get the value. And finally, there isn't a best gun. There isn't. This isn't like Call of Duty or Battlefield. There isn't one gun that do, which um, is statistically better than any others. It's all down to personal choice, preference, what you look, what looks good, what performs well, and the best way of finding that out is chatting to experienced players. If you, if you absolutely, positively must go out and spend some money before you play your first airsoft game. Now as dull as it may sound, my recommendation would be perhaps a good pair of boots or a pair of gloves. That is an investment that will return itself. If you are struggling to find your local site, then I'm going to post some links in the description. Uh, there's some very good websites which keep a map of all the local sites. They're particularly good for the UK and I know that uh, it's pretty good for the US as well. If you do want to catch up the community, pop over to my Facebook page. I'm always active there and happy to answer uh, questions uh, or put it out to the wider knowledge. There's people on my Facebook page who know much more than I do and uh, are always happy to jump in and, and answer queries. But go out and play. This is Major Clanger, out.